Good morning, Houston. Uh, we are uh, getting ready for undock today. We get to do one last lap with Atlantis around the ISS and then uh, start our trip home. Thanks, Houston. Sounds great, Atlantis. Have a good fly around. Hey, Station Atlantis uh, on the big loop. It looks like the sun's getting ready to go down, and uh, we just uh, wanted to tell you one more time, thanks so much for hosting us. Uh, it's a great station, and uh, it's been an absolute pleasure um, to participate in three different shuttle missions that have come up and docked uh, to you and, uh, and help you get bigger and better with every pass. So uh, we'll see you out there at uh, 600 feet. Captain Afterge, we really appreciate it, and... Uh We'll miss you guys, and uh, we'll see you back on Earth, and uh, we'll try and get some good pictures of you. Atlantis Station, this is Mike on the Big Loop. Station is ready for undocking. Atlantis copies. Physical separation, Houston. Houston copies. Undocking confirmed. At 1.28 a.m. Central Time. Atlantis weighs anchor from the International Space Station for the last time. Twelve and a half years of shuttle missions to build and service a million pound complex at an end. Atlantis departing the International Space Station for the last time. Thank you for your 12 dock missions to the ISS and for capping off 37 space shuttle missions to construct a orbiting research facility. We'll miss you guys. Godspeed, soft landing, and we'll see you back on Earth in the fall. Hey, thanks, uh, Ron, USOS lead, and uh, to the uh, station commander, Andre Borisenko. Uh, we appreciate your hospitality again. Hey, when a, great, uh, when a generation accomplishes a great thing, it's got a right to stand back and for just a moment admire and take pride in its work. From our unique vantage point right here, perched above the Earth, we can see the International Space Station is a wonderful accomplishment. It was born at the end of the Cold War. It's enabled many nations to speak one in space. As the ISS now enters the era of utilization, we'll never forget the role the space shuttle played in its creation. Like a proud parent, we anticipate great things to follow from the men and women who build, operate, and live there. From this unique vantage point, we can see a great thing has been accomplished. Farewell, ISS. Make us proud. A few minutes after uh, Atlantis uh, reaches the point um, 600 feet directly in front of the station, the International Space Station will begin a yaw maneuver of 90 degrees under the control of Russian segment thrusters. Uh, that uh, yaw maneuver will uh, occur while Atlantis is in a period of about 27 minutes of station keeping directly in front of the complex. Once uh, the station has yawed uh, to the proper orientation, Doug Hurley will begin a 600-foot radial fly around of a half lap around the complex while Magnus and Walheim use uh, digital cameras with high-powered lenses uh, to snap away, collecting imagery of the longitudinal axis of the station, its modules, and its components. And Station Atlantis, uh, you'll be happy to know you look just as good from the side as you do from the front. Thanks, Bergie. Not sure how to answer that one, but thanks. Almost directly above the International Space Station, you can see uh, the varying views, uh, the solar rays that are angled uh, through the beta gimbal assemblies uh, to optimize uh, solar array uh, absorption of sunlight uh, to be converted into electricity. On the far right uh, of the axis of the space station, uh, that is the Harmony module uh, in the horizontal position, uh, basically, as you look at this view, that's where Atlantis was docked to. And on either side, those two large modules at the bottom is the uh, European Space Agency's Columbus Laboratory. And on the top of Harmony, as you look at this view from directly above the space station, is uh, the large uh, Japanese segment of the complex, the Kibo module and its external uh, experiment platform. And uh, ISS Atlantis on the big loop. Uh, we're essentially complete with our fly around. Uh, we'll be uh, coming out underneath you and uh, should have a good view from the cupola. I'm not sure when we're going to break down the big loop, but uh, if it's anytime soon, we just wanted to give you a final uh, goodbye. Hey, thanks, Fergie. We'll be watching you from the uh, SM windows, and uh, you guys look really good on the fly around from what we can see. And uh, again, thank you so much for all that you guys uh, have done for us up here. We really, really appreciate it.
Hey, Fergie, from the uh, ULF-7 Orbit 1 team in the ISS Mission Control Room here in Houston, we just want to let you know that it's been our pleasure and honor to support this, the 37th mission of the Space Shuttle to the ISS. And we're proud to be the last in a countless line of mission control teams that have had the honor to watch over the ISS while Discovery and, and Endeavor and Atlantis have visited over the last 13 years. From this room, we've watched and supported as the shuttle has enabled the station to grow from a humble single module that was grappled by the shuttle's arm to a stunning facility that is so large that some astronauts have even momentarily gotten lost in it. You can, you can take it from me. So, of course, uh, the ISS wouldn't be here without the space shuttle. So while we have the communication link up for the last time, we wanted to say thank you and farewell to the magnificent machines that delivered, assembled, and staffed our world-class laboratory in space. So Fergie, Chunky, Sandy, and Rex, get her home safely and enjoy the last couple days in Space Shuttle Atlantis.